Hi, I'm Aisha. You are watching Educational Hub. P-values are used in hypothesis testing to help decide whether to reject the null hypothesis. The smaller the p-value, the more likely you are to reject the null hypothesis. First we need to understand. What is p-value? The p-value is a number, calculated from a statistical test, that describes how likely you are to have found a particular set of observations if the null hypothesis were true. Some key aspects of p-value, 1. A p-value is a statistical measurement used to validate a hypothesis against observed data, 2. A p-value measures the probability of obtaining the observed results. Assuming that the null hypothesis is true, 3. The lower the p-value, the greater the statistical significance of the observed difference, 4. A p-value of 0.05 or lower is generally considered statistically significant. 5. P-value can serve as an alternative to or in addition to preselected confidence levels for hypothesis testing. The p-value table shows the hypothesis interpretations. P-value greater than 0.05. The result is not statistically significant and hence don't reject the null hypothesis p-value less than 0.05. The result is statistically significant. Generally, reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative hypothesis. p-value less than 0.01. The result is highly statistically significant, and thus rejects the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative hypothesis. We know that p-value is a statistical measure, that helps to determine whether the hypothesis is correct or not. P-value is a number that lies between 0 and 1. The level of significance, alpha, is a predefined threshold that should be set by the researcher. It is generally fixed as 0.05. The formula for the calculation for P-value is. Step 1. Find out the test static C is, where, equals sample proportion, P0 equals assumed population proportion in the null hypothesis. N equals sample size, p-value example. An example to find the p-value is given here. A statistician wants to test the hypothesis H0. Mu equals 120 using the alternative hypothesis H alpha. Mu greater than 120 and assuming that alpha equals 0. For that, he took the sample values as, n equals 40, sigma equals 32.17 and x equals 105. 37. Okay, the solution is, we know that, now substitute the given values. 5.0865, now, using the test static formula, we get, t equals 105. 37 to 120, 5.0865. Therefore, t equals minus 2.8762. Using the z-score table, we can find the value of pt greater than minus 2.8762. From the table, we get pt less than minus 2.8762 equals pt greater than 2.8762 equals 0 0.003. Therefore, if pt greater than minus 2.8762 equals 1 to 0 0.003 equals 0 0.997, p-value equals 0 0.997 greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, from the conclusion, if p greater than 0 0.05, the null hypothesis is accepted or fails to reject. Hence, the conclusion is, fails to reject H0. Next is a 0.05 p-value significant, a p-value less than 0.05 is typically considered to be statistically significant, in which case the null hypothesis should be rejected. A p-value greater than 0.05 means that deviation from the null hypothesis is not statistically significant, and the null hypothesis is not rejected. Okay, what does a p-value of 0.001 mean? 
A p-value of 0.001 indicates that if the null hypothesis tested were indeed true, there would be a 1 in 1000 chance of observing results at least as extreme. This leads the observer to reject the null hypothesis because either a highly rare data result has been observed, or the null hypothesis is incorrect. How the p-value calculated the calculation for a p-value varies based on the type of test performed. The three test types describe the location on the probability distribution curve. Lower-tailed test, upper-tailed test, or two-sided test. 